So for today's craft, I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute wine bags or take out drink bags. You can put smoothies, juices, you can freeze them. Um, I'll probably put like some kind of cocktail in here and I'm going to decorate them with these two vinyls. I just have a lot of these so I'm going to use these. Um, this is the Cricut Premium Vinyl Holographic Pink and this is the Tech Wrap Opal Holographic and Hot Pink. So open the box and I'll show you what you get. I bought this off of Amazon of course and this is the 200 box of 200 bags. So I made some bags like this which is the permanent vinyl and it just comes with like a ton and a bunch of different color straws. So I'll show you what designs I make on Design Space and I'll also show you some drinks and recipes too. So here are some of the designs that I liked on Cricut Design Space. Um, there were a bunch. I had to hide some of them because there were so many. And all except for the Not Your Average Capri Sun are all just from Cricut Design Space. And all I did was type in keywords like wine or cheers. There's some cute ones. Or cocktails. There are so many that I'm sure you could find something that you would like. So let me just smooth this over so you can see. I'm just cutting them out on one sheet just to make it simple. So I'm making them black so they can all be on one sheet. This one, all I did was I used, I picked this text and I added the cocktail image to it. And then I um, attached them together. I don't think I'll make the cheers or this wine nut. Okay, so if I hit make it right now, the may contain wine is all separated. And we don't want that. We want it to cut out all together. So we're gonna go back and attach it. And this is I, what happened with a lot of them. I just had to make little tweaks here and there so that they all cut out together. And it looks like I have some space. So I'm gonna maybe make a couple more. So I'll duplicate this one and this one. And let's see if it fits now. It's just so much easier to cut out one rectangle than, you know, have all these random shaped scraps. Okay, perfect. So all I have to do now is cut off seven inches on my 12 inch roll. Okay, so the material I'm gonna select is premium vinyl. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the two pieces of vinyl and I'll be back. Okay, so I cut out my vinyl, my two different colors, and I already weeded this one. Um, I thought I might show you how I weed. I'm not the fastest or the greatest, but this I have been loving, so I just wanted to show this. This is a really old baby food, you know, the snack cups that my sons use, and I'm so happy I had one, because I saw on YouTube, like, I guess someone was using these instead of like those ring ones to collect the little pieces of vinyl, you can see. It just collects it all in there. But it's been so good. Like I don't even use the lint roller anymore. I used to use this and just stick it on, but this is way better. I don't know why, but because it really gets it off, you know, those little pieces, which this had, this one, so not your average Capri Sun. That one had a lot. So I'm just going to fast forward and weed these out. I also don't recommend <laughs> pulling off the sheet all, like all at once. I like to cut it just to make it easier because things can go wrong if you try to do the whole sheet. You know, it gets stuck and then it pulls part of the letters off. So yeah, just some tips.
so I'm thinking I'm gonna weed the rest off camera just because I need to save some memory but yeah I, I think I may have forgot to mention I'm trying to do like a comparison between the tech wrap and the Cricut one of my friends said she froze I gave her some and she froze it and she said this one came off so I want to see if it makes a difference between the vinyls because they're both permanent adhesive I'm hoping this one stays on better but yeah that's something good to know right if you give like say you're selling this and your customer freezes it like that's something they should know that they're not supposed to freeze it anyways I'll finish um, weeding this out and come back okay so right now I'm just putting the labels or the vinyl on the bags I thought I was recording when I was doing these but I didn't but luckily there's still a lot more so let's do the tech wrap I'm also using this scotch bright extra sticky for pets and I just used one piece so far and I've already done four and it's still sticky so I'm just gonna keep using it until it's kind of like not working I can tell it's getting a little less sticky because the first few I just had to rip this off and it was stuck on saying before when I thought I was recording that I can see why the Cricut might come off when it's frozen more because it's it's like foil it's like um it's thicker than the tech wrap uh, it's not as flexible so I'm hoping the tech wrap works a little bit better and do the rest off camera and come back afterwards. So now that all the bags are made, um, I'm gonna follow up on that test I was talking about between the tech wrap and the Cricut vinyl. So I made two already and I didn't show this one because I cheated. I just used this and lemon slices. So um overall this worked out great like i just poured it in and if you can tell it's slushy so you don't have to blend it or anything with ice you just pour it in put your garnishes like lemon slices and then freeze it and you just before you drink it you mash it up like you just but i did want to show you the cricket vinyl it is kind of coming off like if you can see this part so I'm just gonna leave it on but it is likely to fall off whereas this tech wrap one is not going to so I recommend the tech wrap versus the Cricut and then when I froze these I put them in a Ziploc bag you know I mean I tested it over this thing to see if it would come out and it didn't but you know just to be safe and then laid it flat in the freezer. So I'm gonna be showing you a uh, super easy recipes, okay? Nothing fancy. I'm just gonna, this is my first attempt at doing these bags in the freezer. So we're gonna be doing an easy pina colada with these three, a uh, frosé with strawberries, frozen strawberries and rosé. And I might also try this. I use this like for so many things, like it's a, it says spread. It doesn't say jam or jelly or anything, but we put this on ice cream or if I blend something like a frozen drink, I will put this in. And it's pretty much like strawberry preserves because it's just strawberries, cane sugar, fruit pectin, and citric acid. So none of the weird stuff, pretty much strawberries in a can. And then I'm also gonna try out 
this Hawaii old style goodie goodie recipe and it's just these three ingredients. So everything is like three ingredients or less. This one I believe I'm gonna do half blended and then half with this, right? So let me get the measuring cup. Half a bottle of wine is 350 milliliters. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact. It's so we're doing alcoholic drinks. It's only like 9.20. I just dropped the kids off at school. So we're gonna do one and a half cups frozen strawberries. I got my head out this sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. I only one tablespoon of sugar. Just gonna eyeball this. And one and a half cups of ice. Pretty eyes in your head, you know it. You got me dancing in my bed, so let me show it. You are exactly what I want. Cool and kind of not want to give myself to you. Yeah, we're driving down the freeway. And the good thing about these bags versus a Ziploc bag, because people are like, it's just a Ziploc, is that it stands up. Like you'll see when the drink is in there, there's a gusset on the bottom, so you can put it down. I mean, it could fall over, but for the most part, it will. Up. And you probably only want to fill these bags about halfway to three quarters of the way up. Um, when it goes in the freezer, you know, the liquids will expand and everything. So you just squeeze all the air out that you can, zip it up. And I do the test, usually over the sink, not on the sink. Okay, that's the problem with filming with your phone. It cuts off and I don't know when it does it. So I will show you what I did for the pina colada. So I used three ounces of this Bacardi Tropical Rum and six ounces of this mix I just picked up at the grocery store. I just mixed it up, poured it in here, two bags, and garnished it with maraschino cherries. Um, I let the juice drain out so that it wouldn't discolor the whole thing. You actually can't even see it, it's at the bottom somewhere. Okay, and then so for the goody goody experiment, I used two cans of Diamond Head strawberry soda, one can of 7-Up, and one can of sweetened condensed milk. And all I did was pour it in a large bowl like this and whisk it all together because the condensed milk was really thick, so I really had to whisk it. So I using a funnel and a ladle, I did two scoops in each bag and it made about six bags. And then now I'm just going to freeze it. So I'm gonna put maybe four in a plastic bag and zip it up, lay it flat and freeze it. And we'll come back and do a taste test. These have been in the freezer for 24 hours. I just took them out of the bag. Um, not surprisingly, the ones with high alcohol content were less slushy. So this is like going in the order of slushiness. So the pina colada, like no slush. The margarita, there's some, and it would be perfect right now to drink right now because it's that, it's icy, but it's not blocks of ice. The rosé with the strawberry preserves is perfect slushiness too. That would be good. And then the rosé with the blended strawberries is perfect to put in the cooler and take with you. It's kind of icy. You would still need to break it up. You can see. Like this. So after you do that, it's ready to drink, you know? 
maybe like, I would say like 10 minutes on the counter, or if you took it, put it in the cooler in like in an hour, it'll be like perfect. The goody goody came out really good. So this was the one that had just a little bit. These are the bigger ones that had two scoops. Um, so it's icy and this is the consistency you want. Usually this is served in like a, a dish or a cup and you would scrape at it. It's not ice cream, it's not an ice cake. It's kind of like an in-between. I wanna try this one. This is a surprise one or a experiment. So this is the rosé with just the Kirkland Strawberry Preserves. So this one didn't have any like added water to it. That's why it's less slushy or less icy than that one. Mm, that's really good. Yeah, I really like this one. I'm guessing it'll be stronger than this one, but I like rosé. I would make this again. And this was super easy. I mean, just you just scooped in some strawberry preserves and blended it. So that's good. The margarita, I guess I'll try it. It was just straight up like Kirkland margarita mix. So I'm sure it'd be strong. That's super strong. This could probably use some water mixed in with it. Actually for, so right now I'm going to add in water into these two. I would say I'll put in four ounces, about half a cup, and then let it freeze overnight and I'll come back and tell you guys how that works. And then let's try this goody goody. So I already broke it up. It's like the perfect consistency. So if you look at it, I think it must be like the sodas that make it like this, but it has kind of like a shaved ice texture. It's not like a solid block of ice. Mm, but yeah, that one's really good. I should definitely try this for the kids. Make these for yourself and these for the kids. But yeah, so tomorrow I will film again and show you how these work and if they taste a little better. So this is 48 hours after I made these drinks and they did get um, more frozen than yesterday. So I think 48 hours in the freezer is ideal, um, especially if you have one of those pull-out drawer freezers like mine. I don't think they get as cold for some reason. But I put this in the order of iciness. These icy to very icy. Um, this is the, these have been out for about, on the counter for about five minutes. This is the rosé with the preserves. It's nice and icy and actually drinkable right now. This is the goody goody. This is the rosé with the blended strawberries. It's nice and like squishable, which is good because you can break up the ice. And this is the pina colada, very squishable. And this is the margarita. This is getting squishable, but still very icy. So these are the same recipe. These ones I added the half a cup of water to yesterday and put them back in the freezer. Um, I'm just gonna taste them to see if they're too watery now or how the flavor is. This is really good. I really like this one with the half a cup. It'll be, I can still taste the alcohol, but it's very refreshing and yeah, a little bit more time in the freezer or in the cooler and it will be drinkable with a straw. This Parkland Margarita Mix is really strong. Like this is, I taste it. Um, but it's good, I mean, if you like margaritas. I may add like a little bit of honey to it because I like tight, slightly sweeter margaritas. But still very good and it'll be really refreshing when you're out somewhere hot at the beach or something. So during this experiment, I noticed the Cricut vinyl is really not doing well. So this one's Cricut. This one's Cricut. This is about to fall off also. The tech wrap though is perfect. 
The bag is sweating and wet and it is not slipping off or anything. So I love this. And also, I wanted to know for the goody goody, this bag was two ladlefuls, like a big ladle, and this was too much. Like we had this for dessert last night, and I had to separate them into two bowls, and it was still a lot. So I would recommend only filling it up to here, or one ladle full, and freezing it. And also, you could probably freeze this one upright if you wanted, and then when you're ready to serve it, you just Squish it up a bit and then cut it in half. And then it's like a little bowl. So, you know, easier for the kids to eat, really good for like outdoor activities. Um, yeah. So, just wanted to share that and thanks for joining me on this experiment. If you like this kind of video, please subscribe and I'll see you next week.